Welcome back to Chasing Single Digit Body Fat. We're going to be working shoulders today. I'm going to get a bagel in and uh, get some pre-workout mixed up and everything before we head out. But like I said, when we get back to these videos, I told you guys I'm probably just going to do around three days a week. And I'm going to try to film a lot more adding in what I'm eating a little bit throughout the day. More than just, just the actual workout itself. The hardest part about falling off as hard as I did is I got all the way down to 210. I was... Uh, right at 10% body fat. And uh, then I completely fell off. Like I, we went on that cruise. I, and then I just, I literally, I have such an addiction to food. So when I fall back into that, I just fall off into the deep end. And that's exactly what I did. So now back at 224, trying to cut again, trying to find a way to get away from all the sugars and processed foods again. It's just like we're all the way back at square one, which sucks because we were so close. But we're climbing back on. We are uh, counting calories again, in a deficit, trying to make sure this thing happens. I, like I said, I was never, I'm never giving up on the, the chasing single digit body fat. I've got to get there, and when I get there, I need to stay near there. I'm not saying I got to stay nine percent, eight percent, whatever the frick I would get to, but to just not, I just gotta not let it go and go all the way back crazy and just get back fat again. It just doesn't make sense. All right, well, I'm going to finish eating. I'm going to mix up some one-up nutrition, watermelon, sour watermelon pre-workout. It's really, really good. Um, if you guys need any supplements, oneupnutrition.com, code DW will save you 20%. I use their um, their pre-workout. They got some hydration stuff I that, that I use. All right, we're going to get a couple warm-up sets and then a couple working sets here. Now, the music is so freaking loud in here today that if uh, if some of the audio goes missing... It's because I got a copyright strike and then had to delete the uh, delete the audio. But hopefully we can work around it. I've, I've been pretty good at like went talking loud and then I just have to like basically cut the audio on the work on the sets where I'm actually working and uh, not talking. So hopefully we can we can work it out that way. But shoulders, traps today. Let's get the best of it. I can't lie, it's been super nice going back to my gym. Uh, the gym that I went to before this one, before we were filming. I just feel so much more motivated in that gym, so. But, without being able to film, I'm not just gonna, I don't wanna completely shut down the series because I didn't reach single digit body fat and I'm going to reach single digit body fat, so. We'll get in here two, three days a week. Um, and like I said, told you guys earlier, we'll go try that other gym. It's a little bit further, but hey, it might be worth it. I don't know, we'll have to see. But also there's a new, anytime fitness is open in a new location right by my house. So that might be an option too. Like literally I could jog there. It's right around the corner, way uh, like half a mile maybe. So um, we're just gonna continue to keep our options open. As of right now, this is the only spot that we can film though. So we'll see. If you're not working till failure with every set, I really just can't understand why you're going to the gym. I mean, seriously though. The whole point is to break down the muscle. 90% of your breakdown is gonna be in those last four or five reps, not the first five. So you gotta understand that wherever it's hurting the most, whenever you're at the most struggle, you're getting the most gains per se, the most pain. Pain, if pain equals gain, the more pain, the more gain. 
It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. We got one more here. I've been feeling super good lately though. So everything's coming together. Just got to make sure that I'm staying good on the diet aspect of things. You're not going super heavy on this one. At least it doesn't seem like it. It's more about keeping it in the right position. Stay, keeping it on your shoulders than it is trying to go super heavy and like throw it around. So you wanna keep it, uh, keep that tension on your actual shoulder message, sorry. Neck problems as usual. I'm gonna do a couple warm ups here with uh, traps. And then at the end, we'll go up and uh, get some more traps. As far as like muscle forming, I feel like we've been building a lot of muscle. So at least the one bad thing, I mean, one good thing about me falling off of the diet has been, there's, there's nothing good about it, don't, don't, don't really lie to you, but we have definitely put on some muscle, so that's, if we, if we were trying to find an upside, it would be that. Now me personally, when I line this one up, I put my thumbs together and then I pull down and then I tuck, I tuck them in or over after that. But that, that seems to have my hands in the absolute perfect spot. All right, last one here, but we're still gonna stay here and do some uh, some traps. All right, let's put some heavier weight on here and get some get some shrugs. Ow. That right there is worse than sandpaper. We're gonna do inside grip so we don't tear our hands off. Now you can call me a sissy all you want. I have calluses built up. You probably can't see them from here, but I don't know why this is, this is way rougher than, long story. Anyways. Ugh. Last one here. All right, we're gonna get some rear delts here. Um, you gotta really focus on basically having the shoulders forward enough to where it's on the rear delts because you can easily use your back on this one.
Rear delts is one of those workouts where it's like, you just gotta try to keep as much pressure on there as you can because you're not gonna be going super heavy. It's a very weird thing because you can get out of placement pretty easy and put it somewhere else. So you gotta focus on keeping it just in that rear delt and really squeezing. That's what I try to do, squeeze all the way through from, from any direction, just squeeze and trying to get it. You should be able to feel it. Like it's one of those ones you can really, really, really feel too. So just keep the focus on that muscle. All right, we got one more here. All right, we're gonna get two burnout sets here to finish out, just absolute burn. Until we can't hold nothing anymore. All right, one more there. I'm not gonna film it, but I'm gonna get after this. I'm gonna get on the stairmaster. So we're doing stairmaster today. Still trying to hit at least 20 minutes of cardio a day, if not more. So probably need to even pick it up more since we uh, fricked up and gained all the weight back. Because um, I, I mean, within the next two months, I need to be at least two two. I give myself two months. I need to be back down to 210 or lower. So unless I somehow miraculously put on a good amount of muscle. Again, it's not the number that matters to me. Well, the, the number of body fat percentage does. That's what matters. So not the actual body weight number though. If I was 215 and 7%, I'd be stoked. But I don't think we're gonna be able to put on that much muscle to offset that, but we'll see. Especially in a calorie deficit, it's gonna be hard, but let's get it. All right, so I already showed breakfast and then I had Chipotle for lunch. I'll show you what I had. Um, I'm gonna get a bowl for here with a lid, please. I'm gonna go white rice and then um, chicken and steak today. Full serving of both, please. All right, today I'm gonna do pico, corn, cheese, and lettuce. And then I'm gonna get a side of sour cream, a side of guac, and a side of vinaigrette. Please and thank you, I'm not trying to be difficult. Today is day 857 of eating Chipotle every single day and it is currently Fan Friday. So I'm gonna be rating this bowl and seeing exactly how it tastes and giving it a rating between one and 10. Now I did have to make a couple little modifications. I put the sour cream on the side. That means I can try it with a bite and not have to throw the whole bowl away because I know how I feel about sour cream, can't do it. Um, but you know, we'll try it, we'll rate it with and without that. And then also they didn't have any vinaigrette right now. So we'll do what we can. All right, so first bite with sour cream. Let's give it a go. And then without. All right, with sour cream, we're gonna get a solid three out of 10. Again, I just hate sour cream. Um, but without, we're gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's that good. I've always been a fan of corn. The steak here is good. So you, it's basically my bowl with adding corn and steak. Love it. And then I had this for dinner. And let's go over exactly how many calories we had total. I tracked it in my app. So I ended the day at 2,110 calories, but which isn't bad, but I only had 114 grams of protein. So we gotta get a lot better there. We gotta get way more protein. I wouldn't mind staying around those calories, but the protein's gotta go way up. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.16. Rejoice always, short and sweet. I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Praise God, thank you, bye.